Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate. In the previous episode, we killed the Baron, removed the Crimson Curse from everyone, and we did a ton and a ton of upgrading with all of our uh, various different heirlooms that we managed to collect throughout there. Uh, and we are pretty much ready to head out once more. Uh, we still have quite a few people that are down at level 3 that I want to be upgrading. I really want to bring Trell out here uh, this time, so we're going to look for um, a either medium or long adventure that suits us. Um, we've got a medium one here. I think this medium one's going to be good. Uh, unfortunately, it's not exactly the best uh, the the best reward, but I think nonetheless this is going to be good. We're only going. We really want to go on a level three mission here because we're going to be bringing primarily level threes, and I want to make sure we go somewhere other than the ruins because ruins is already leveled up, and also <clears throat> we can get uh, get ourselves. A nice little... Ooh, this collector's got a new icon. Uh, we can get ourselves a nice little uh, bit of bleed going in here as well. So we're going to bring Trell out, especially considering we just received a new trinket for Trell. Um, and I think with Trell, we're probably going to bring... Let's have a look-see. Um, we could bring Octavia along with us. I think Octavia could work pretty well here. Um, let's have a little look. So do we have any... Do we have any uh, dedicated healers that are still level threes. We have Aaron, but I wouldn't exactly call him a dedicated healer. He can heal for three to four, four and clear horror and stun, but that's not. It's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. Um, but we might want to bring him out anyways. So let's go with let's go with Trell. Let's go with Canis um, as our other bleed here, um, and. Then let's bring along Octavia. Yeah, let's let's do Octavia and Aaron. Um, because then we've got two different varieties of healing. I know that her healing isn't great, but that should hopefully be enough. Let's check up on our um our downsides here. Uh, minus four speed and first round. Uh, minus ten accuracy. Okay, that, them two are really bad. Uh, she she's got some really bad stuff there. Always oh, pushing away to the front. That's fine. She does that anyways. Um. Okay, they're all pretty much fine. Oh god, he's got such massively reduced crit. Um, okay, not not great. Not great. Um, but we're going to have to deal with it. Right, let's say... Uh, I think this is a decent group. Let's get these guys trinketed up. Let's trink up our healers first. Um... With Aaron, we could actually give him his trinket here. Because that minus is 10 crit, and he already has such little crit that it doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, I don't really know what skills he has that move people. Uh, we we want to be using, yeah, word of power on him here. Uh, and then we've got this with the, the huge knockback, actually. We could go with that with the huge knockback and stun. Um... Yeah, I think, I think we'll go with... I very rarely use that, but I think we'll go with that. Big debuff, uh, nice stun chance, and a knockback. I think that's going to be pretty darn good. Uh, we can get quite a lot of use out of that. We could also go with this for the massively buffed crit chance, but this isn't going to be a heavy crit build anyways in terms of our characters. So let's have a look at the trinkets that we can put on this guy and see what we can get going with that. Um, so let's have a little look-see. Um, we want we want his healing to be as high as possible, so we'll probably just play the safe route and go with our double healing on this guy. Octavia is going to be sort of our offhand healer, uh, and I think for her, hmm, there's a few things we could do with her. We could uh, we could like buff her blight. Um, I don't think there's any way that we can buff her dodge uh, apply, unfortunately. Maybe we'll just go with a ton of scouting on her. Although, at the same time, do I really want to take extra damage? Taking extra damage is probably a bad idea. Um, maybe we'll go with some stuff that's going to give her quite a lot of protection. Keep her safe. Uh, she does have pretty reduced health, so it would be a good idea to keep her as safe as possible. We don't have a dedicated stress heal on this team, so I think I'll give someone the cherished keep keepsake just in case. Uh, that's an on-kill effect as well, though, so we are going to have to be careful with how we use that. Um, so let's have a look. Hmm. Two speed, eight dodge. That's pretty good. Yeah, do you know what? I'll go with that. That's, that's, that's pretty good. And then we'll also go with that. 
Her debuff and move resist are really bad, but her dodge is now really, really high. Uh, and she has some prot just in case she actually does get hit. Uh, so these two are already set up. Trell here does have a dedicated trinket that we got from the Crimson Court that I definitely want to put on him. Uh, this one here. This is going to be a little bit less maximum HP, but extra damage, dodge, and prot, which is great. And then we can go with the extra damage and crit here as well. A little bit lower speed, but I think these two combined with each other should lead to some really nice big hits which i'm very much looking forward to seeing come to fruition uh, and then here um i think we'll go with the extra speed and crit with the minus party surprise chance and on top of that oh, my alarm's going off i do apologize uh, on top of that what could we what could we go with we could go with the straight up extra melee damage and uh, and bleed i think i'll do that you know let's let's stack bleed on her pretty high uh, this this build is definitely one that i'm a little more fearful of because we don't have the greatest healing uh, but we do have a heal on van break and brace here as well so i think we can make this work <laughs> I think we can make this work. Let's uh, let's try this out. Let's head out into the wield. Now, one thing we do have to worry about, and it is a big, big worry, is that we do indeed have um, the, the ability to come across the Collector. And this team is not great for the Collector. But I'm going to go out with these guys anyhow, and uh, we'll try this out. We'll bring out um, probably five shovels, and we'll bring out five of everything else. Of course, we do have to... Um, grab these but luckily because we already have them in our inventory we should be fine and um, we'll take all of them as well we don't need any blood right now either because no one has the curse anymore and i'm pretty happy with this group let's jump out we do have some diary entries to go through here by tea he's been writing on like a beast and getting quite a lot out there the first one here is from isaac our plague doctor a fellow doctor came to me today bearing all signs of the curse and more it would appear the most dreaded symptom of uh, the most dreaded curse yeah the most dreaded symptom of physical mutation had already begun for him after two nights of vigorous study and experimentation i crafted a treatment of sorts it's no permanent solution but it'll help those in town until i can find a, a, a final cure unfortunately for lucas there is no way i can reverse the change he's gone through yet yeah, it is late and i must rest i do deserve it a nice one we'll probably go for our next one when we when we camp uh, so this is only a medium exploration, so it won't be a huge one, but I'm probably going to cover all of our rooms here, uh, or at least as many of them as we can. Unfortunately, this isn't a super high chance to confirm on that, but we did get it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be dealing a lot of bleed while we're here. We'll definitely go for that. They're very rarely worth it, but that, that one was pretty worthwhile. We don't need tons of money, but the more the merrier. Uh, so there's our first one. Good, good. Yeah, even if we find everything early on, I'll probably try and go to all the rooms here and get everything ticked off. That's going to be a good idea. Uh, but yes, um, last episode we, we bested the Baron, the Dragon Slayer, showing his true form. And we do have a diary entry from Ronaldus later on that's uh, that's going to talk on to something that's that's probably going to go down later game that I think um, I think Ronaldus is very very willing to be involved with and put put his life at risk for the safety of the others, which is very noble of him. And he is trying to prove that he is a noble guy. Uh, that is that is one of the big things he's been trying to do. So, um, Word of Power is actually going to be really good here because it does extra damage against Eldritch. So we're going to use that there. And Word of Power does buff Word of Power. So it keeps on going and going and going. Uh, these guys do have really high Blight Resist. So we're going we're gonna to use the um, Invigorating Vapors. What's she doing here? Oh, nice Tress Heal. And we'll go with that. Of course, at any point she can activate repost and turn into a um, turn into a werewolf. We'll see what see when that happens. That also activates repost as well. She's got some interesting skills. I'm probably going to end up transforming with her and using headbutt or something similar when we uh, end up inevitably finding the uh, collector. Right. This is really good combo, by the way, because we get that bleed on from um, Canis, and then we immediately take Trell and hit pretty hard. Okay, unfortunately we did get a crit on us there, but that with that um with that prop that we have, we're okay. Also, I do realise that I, I didn't even put the um the the charm on I said that I was gonna put on. The one that removes um that removes some stress when we get kills. That was a bit unfortunate that I forgot to do that, but overall I think we should be okay. I'm actually gonna heal myself up here a little bit. It's only a tiny bit, but I think it's worthwhile. Because I want to go for the I want to go for the damage and be able to heal with Aaron on other people when possible. That's a huge heal. Great. Nice crit trill. 
Trell is going to be critting a lot, by the way. His crit chance is pretty high. I'm excited to see what he can do. Let's heal ourselves up again. Nice one up to full health here. And this should be this guy pretty much dead. There's our transformation. People are going to witness the beast as it comes to life. And you are gone. Nice one, Trell. I think Trell really needed this. He needs to get out there and just prove his might. He's, he had a he had a pretty emotional and difficult time with... Um, yeah, we are. Are we going to pop the serpent? Let's check our map first. Yes, we are. We are gonna pop that open. Um, we had a pretty, he had a pretty like emotional and difficult time adventuring out with Dismas and venturing into his past. So I think, I think now he's sort of ready to get out there and release some stress, prove his might, show what he can do. Uh, right. So this is Eldritch. So we'll go for this first. Gonna do a little bit more damage. It's the buffing our damage that I'm really uh, happy about. But yeah, this uh, Invigorating Vapors is gonna be the main way we do stuff here. Um, we'll go with that for the bleed duration received, and also a little bit of bleed on you as well. Because this means when we hit with this, that bleed duration is going to be even more so than normal. Nice dodge there, Octavia. And Octavia as well, she's she, she's not a very combat heavy person, and we all know this. Okay, that's a big hit, that's okay though. Um, she's not a very, very big combat heavy person, but when, when needed, she'll get out there, and she will... Oh, that's, that's very bad. Uh, she will try to um, alleviate people. That's going to move us forward one. we got a crit on you as well. Um, very much want to move forward. We're in a very bad, very, very bad situation here. I've really needed that heal there. Um, I think we're just going to apply a block here. To Octavia. It does mark her, but I think that's okay. Unfortunately, we can't do much here. Go for the blight, but it's not going to hit. This is probably going to end up being a pretty big hit uh, by by this giant dude, because we're just not in not in a spot for people to hit. But that block there was important. I just really hope that she doesn't get targeted. Now she's got that. Uh, we can only move forward one here, which is problematic. Here it comes. Yep. Oh, thank God for the dodge. Thank God for that dodge. I just wanted the damage out there. Okay, I got the blight as well. I wasn't expecting that. Are this guy's still alive? How is he getting such high crits? So what's your crit chance, dude? Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, nice. That's moved us forward one more. Trail's gonna have to just move again. Please don't leave another parasite. We really can't deal with another one of those, thank god. That thing's already dealing too much damage to us. Right, we're up into a decent situation now. The only problem is... Nice dodge. Uh, it's still going to be difficult for us to uh, continue. Because if he, if he smacks us again with that same attack, it's going to hurt. Stop devouring us, my god. Okay, he should be very near to dead now. Keep on going with the healing train. And obliterate you. Yeah, there you go. Parasite's probably going to get another attack in here. And it is annoying that body's still there. What's your uh, blight resist? Your blight resist is so high. I can't even fathom to start start doing that. Sadly, we're going to have to get rid of this corpse. And it's not going to get rid of until next turn. There's Devour coming in again. Nice dodge again, Trill. Um, I should probably use this a little more as well, actually. Try and activate his repost a little more early on. That repost is going to be very useful. Nice, everyone's healed up and there's the body out the way. Okay, come on, let's let's take this guy out in a single hit, please. I'm just upping everyone's dodge at the minute as much as we can to try and avoid avoid us getting hit by him again, because it does indeed uh, heal him when he gets hit. There you go. Eight damage coming in. We did bleed him again, though. And we are healing everyone up nicely. Taking off that mark is very important, right? Can we not can we not miss with our ma main damage dealer, please? <laughs> Trell, can can we not? Oh my god, how high is this guy's dodge? 24. Okay, I can kind of understand that now. Oh, no. This is infuriating. Okay, thank God. That was such a tedious fight. And we, we've actually took on quite a lot of stress then as well that was just completely unnecessary. And here's the collector. Here's the collector. Right, we've got to play this right. This needs to stun him. Thank God it did. Sets up very well for us. We've got to get as much 
like AoE bleed and not blight and all that sort of stuff on him as we possibly can here. Okay, nice. Good damage. Of course, he's stunned again. If we can stun him again, that would be ace, but I very, very highly doubt. I'm still going to try it, but I very, very highly doubt we get another stun on him. We just need to build up as much bleed and blight on him as we possibly can. Oh, we can't even use that twice in a row. Okay, fair enough. Um, hmm. I guess we just do that for the extra damage against Eldritch. Okay, that's good damage. Good damage, not the best. This is still going to be hard to get to him. And the thing is, we've got to get through all of these guys first. This could definitely be a very sticky situation. We don't have huge heals at the moment, so I'm certainly expecting this to go somewhat poorly. I'm just basically hoping that I can get my damage on him as soon as possible. Um, headbutt there. Get a stun on you at least. That at least helps us. That This might actually finish him. No, it won't finish him. He's on 16 HP. It'll do a lot, though. And even more now. Oh, thank God. I was so scared then. I was so, so scared. Um, let's get that going. I, I still like Space Thor Repair, so I don't care that we missed. Okay, he is, he is dead next turn. Thank God for the dodge, Octavia. You are, you are really helping us out here. Uh, in fact, Octavia, you can pretty much kill him now, can't you? There you go. He's, he's dead now. He is going to get a guard, but that shouldn't matter for the Blight. Let's do that. There you go. Okay, that was that was a risky little thing to come across there. That's probably one of the hardest battles we'll come across in this area. But that stun at the start set us up for success. Octavia's Blight was actually super, super important there. Um, we managed to, to use that to do quite a lot of damage, more than I was expecting. Uh, hmm, I don't know what to throw away here. I mean, Jades would make sense, but we might get more of those. So I guess we just get rid of, like, Holy Water or something. Right, oh, always loot with Octavia. Oh, I, I didn't even notice that we went selected on, on Octavia there. Okay, so at least now we've we've uh, removed the main threat. We've re removed the the biggest contention in in how well we do while we're here. So that that makes me feel a little more at ease. Uh, we've got Curia, Curia, Curia. All of these are Curia. Um, yeah, all of them are Curias. So we don't have any quest objectives yet. We're still gonna have to keep de venturing deeper and further in. Uh, I actually don't know. Did I upgrade everyone's stuff? There's a good chance I didn't. I should, I should really be a bit more on top of that and make sure we do that. Right, probably going to fail. Oh, thank God you didn't. A little bit of stress relief there. Love to see it. Let's keep venturing forward. Not going to use that yet because I still don't... Like, we're only on three shovels. We don't, have, don't know how many more we've got to go. Essentially, the guys that do the tree smack down, the big ogre dudes, are going to be the worst thing for us right now. Um, hmm... I think we just do this. Ah, oh, of course it's a miss. And we'll just go with the Vapors. The Spiders are annoying for dodge anyway, so we're going to be annoying for dodge as well. There's that web coming in. Once we're marked, it's going to really start to hurt, but we can remove Mark, so let's hope we can do that. Nice dodge on that wing slam there. Web again. That works out for us. He even dodged it, which is even better. Insta-kill on one of the Spiders there by Canis. Awesome. And in, in fact, I'm going to go for the double here. Not quite a kill on both of them, but it will be now. Both of them are dead now. Oh no, the, the bird still isn't. Let's get that on you. Just for the damage more than the blight. We got the blight anyways. Um, Let's clear the mark off of you. It also heals you up to full. I think clearing Mark when we're fighting spiders, even though we know he's going to die. It's just a good habit to get into, isn't it? And of course we have a parasite. He'll probably get a turn before we do. Oh no, he didn't. Very near to dead. If he gets a turn, though, unfortunately, we are going to perish. But we, he didn't. Good. God damn, we're getting so much good stuff and just nowhere to put it. Absolutely nowhere to put it. Um, hmm. We want all of this, so... Can we make three slots, really? I'm going to make at least one. I'll leave the other two things. I really wanted to take them, but I'd rather just leave them. Oop, nope. Wrong person. Octavia. Why didn't it keep selected who you previously used? Should just remember your selection. So much better. 
Okay, this shouldn't be too hard of a combat here. I might even tend to Werewolf straight away to get this finished off a little bit faster. Definitely want that dodge. We don't want to take rabies on anyone here. Um, got a lot of power on you for that bit of good damage. I'm going to go for the double hit on these two to get the bleed started up. And the double hit again for the double kill. That is how you get rid of some enemies before they even get a chance to attack. Stress is actually lowering quite nicely here. We've been uh, we've been continuing on without taking too much stress in the process. I reckon we're going to get at least one more uh, parasite here, which having dead meat on you is definitely horrible. There's a huge bit of stress relief there. Go for this. This means that Trell's going to be able to hit for big damage. Really good combo, actually, Canis and Trell. I never realized how good these guys would be together. In fact... They could be even better together if they get to know each other a little more. You never know. You never know what people might get to know each other like. Maybe this camping trip will be a turning point for these two people. I don't know if Trell's really into the whole romance side of things, but maybe kind of sees him in that way. Nice one. That's one of them gone. There's one of them. She's going to go for Canis because she's got dead meat on her. So we want to be taking him out as quickly as possible. Hope we, hopefully we get another hit before he gets a chance. Please don't give us another parasite. You. Really? Really, game? That one's dead. Definitely need that dodge. Up to 27 dodge. 18 here. And please, ah, oh, no insta-kill. He's probably going to get a bite before. Oh, no. Nice. We got the higher speed. Ah, oh, it sucks to moose out on all this stuff. But we did we did just kind of upgrade everything we needed to, so I don't feel too bad. Oh, and I forgot to use Octavia again. Why doesn't it just auto-select who I previously used? That's so infuriating. Got a hag here. This is definitely where we take on some new stress. Hopefully this dodge will provide enough that we don't take on too much. We got the chaos on us here, which is lowering our accuracy and dodge. Um... We're going to try and take this guy out. Aaron's actually been more of a damage dealer here than he has been a healer. Luckily enough. I mean, it's, it's definitely a good thing. Okay, here's that repose. That's great. We'll probably activate repose on Trell as well, actually. Thinking about it. Bit of blight on these two. Yeah, let's activate this. And we'll start healing people up now, I think. I think it's necessary. Do you know what? I'm going to go for this. Just because it hits everyone. We gave ourselves rabies. I did not know that could happen. Uh, interesting. Minus 10 accuracy, plus 15 damage. As long as we can offset that, that's not too bad for now. Heal you up. That blight is going to hurt these guys. We definitely need to keep on top of that. Back embrace there. Nice dodge. Only Aaron took that on, which is great. Okay, Aaron, you can take that bit of healing. This blob, the, the big slime, we kind of need to kill him first, because otherwise he can, he'll can he have slots to spawn new things in. So I'm hoping we can do that. He's at 1 HP now, so he is dead. And Trell, Trell's just getting these absolutely huge blows right now. He is he is striking with the force of a thousand suns. He knows his true self like no other. Wow. Ooh, a very rare Helion trinket. That's actually really interesting. I, I, I do want that. <laughs> um, we'll probably throw away these. We've not been using them yet, have we? Damn, it's so annoying to throw all this stuff away. But that was good. Right. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Oh, got our food check here. We can use food to heal ourselves up a little bit as well. Got to remember that. Torch is a little low. We don't need any blood right now. We've got plenty. A handsome reward right. For a task well performed. Cool. We'll go back the way we came. We're making our way down. Uh, we probably want to camp pretty soon. I didn't actually check camping skills once again uh, because I'm a stupid. But we probably do want to camp for relatively soon here. The way is lit. The path is clear. Right, what, what we got in here. But so far, this group is is pushing forward in a way I didn't quite expect. Please get this as well. Nice. Every disarm thus far. Uh, we don't have any bandages anymore, do we? No, we don't. Didn't think so. In fact, one minute. I, I, don't, I don't know if this will, will work, but I'm going to try and just loot it anyways. 
There you go. Just to see what she got. A lot of the time I leave them in case you get negative quirks, but I thought that time I'd take the risk. Uh, right, yeah, let's let's check camping. We probably want to camp now. We've only got a few rooms left. Um, we do have a prevent nighttime ambush here, so let's just go for it. Let's camp up. Eat up. And we'll go on to our next diary entry here. Yet again by TEAs for Verona, our snake charmer. I built up the courage to commune with that ancient devil, the one that could return my family to me if I played my cards right. After the ritual was complete, I felt the telltale signs of its presence, and I spoke calmly. No quiver uh, in my voice, I can sense fears and doubts. It was a surprisingly civil and short conversation. It asked my name and what I wanted. I answered and told it simply that I re um, received my wish and must take the life of my tormentor. And then it left. It left me wondering who this tormentor could be. I've gone through many names, including my own, that could possibly be this tormentor, but alas, I still do not know. So that's her trying to bring her family back. We'll definitely go for this, because it's just really, really strong. Um, that's pretty good. That's also really good. Do you know what? I'm going to do that as well. I know it's double prevent nighttime ambush, but I think it's worthwhile. And I'm going to go for that. Gives everyone else a little bit of stress, but I'm happy. Let's go ahead. We've got some really good party-wide buffs here. And we should be pretty good to go. Let's carry on. Some annoying enemies here, but I'm hoping we can turn into our werewolf and, and pretty much destroy these guys. Um, I'm going to stun you and push you to the back. Should sort you out for a little bit here. I'm going to activate repost. Right off the bat. And... Vapors. Against these guys, we can't really use Blight, so Vapors are definitely the way to go. Uh, what sort of damage can we do here? We can take one of these out guaranteed. I'd rather do that, to be honest. Even though one of them could technically be brought back. I'd rather just get that out of the way with. Taking on a mark here. That's not a problem. We've already got a few people that are marked. Taking a little bit of damage there. Right. This one's going down very quickly. In fact, I'm going to try, even though we won't get the blight. Oh, we did. Um, make sure make sure so we get that kill. That's what I like to see, because them, them guys can be really annoying if they just keep coming back over and over again. This guy with his high pro is going to be a problem. We're going to have to be uh, cautious about him. There's a crit as well. And of course, he dodges the... Uh, it's a lot of stress. Of course, he dodges the repurst. It's going to happen, though. I'm going to activate Repurse here as well. I think with Prop, Repurse works relatively well, especially with Bleed. We can do a good amount with that. Let's just keep going with that buffing of buffing of the um, dodge chance. And there we go. We are we are the beast. And that's that Repurse. This, this, this Repurse is so good. Um, let's do that this time. We don't desperately need the healing anyone. I suppose Trell's needing it a little bit, but it's the the, the the actual health bar is deceptive because it depends on how much health they have. Let's so obliterate him. Oh, random target cho choice. That's fine. Either one of them would work. And let's heal you up. God damn, the buffs, the buffs list is kind of insane. Uh, let's do this as well. Try and get a bit of healing off of that. There we go. Well worth doing. Oh, ho, ho, yes, I'm very happy I just did that. And you're dead. Very happy indeed. Right, grab you. Gonna have a decent amount of money after this. Good amount of money. I'm guessing this, yeah, will be a quest location. It is indeed. Then we've only got, like, one more to go after that, so it shouldn't be too long. Ooh, we got a gargoyle here. Wasn't expecting to see a stonework gargoyle. Shouldn't be too bad. Um... It is unholy, so I'm going to strike it with this. It doesn't have much health, and that is that is a really good hit. We might actually be able to kill it in this next turn here. Um, yeah, I'm going to blight it. That should kill it. Yeah, that kills it. Great. Even with that dodge, you're still dead, dude. There we go. we still got the big boy in the back, but everything else is taken care of. Really glad we got the gargoyle taken care of before everyone else. The Howl of Ren's going to be annoying, but we can clear horror. And that was a beautiful dodge by the group there. 
Well done. Uh, I'm just going to heal everyone up at the at the moment. I'd rather do that. Let's hope we turn into the uh, turn to the werewolf pretty soon. This this guy doesn't have very high blight resist, so we can go for that. His blight and bleed resist are really low now, actually, insanely low. We lowered them a hell of a lot. More damage to um, bleeding enemies, so we can kind of pierce through that prot just a little bit. That's gonna hurt. Oh, nice. Okay, we we are just getting some clutch dodges right now. Really clutch dodges. He has zero percent resists. Oh, unfortunate dodge there. He's near dead though. In fact, he is dead. Even with that miss, you're still dead, dude. Cure you up, nice. You can have your turn, but you're gonna die. Indeed it does. Damn, I'm so pissed to be missing out on all this. I'll throw that away for the Onyxes. This is a money run. Pure money run. We haven't found a secret room in a w little while, actually, as well. That's another thing. I mean, we did do three episodes all in the courtyard, which doesn't appear to have secret rooms, so I can kind of understand it. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to come across that. Do you know what? We'll also even do this. Nice. Okay, here's our quest location. Means no fighting, and it opens up an inventory slot as well. Very nice to see. Very nice to see indeed. And we'll probably have it in these hallways somewhere nearby. The last quest location. It'll be in the next... And I'm betting this next room or the hallway to the room after that. I don't think it'll be in the last room. Ooh. Am I correct? Ow! Okay, nice dodge, Aaron. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, well, it is in the last room. Which means no fight in here. Means it's just going to be the quest objective. Oh! Oh, no. I, I thought... Quest objectives couldn't have battles, but obviously I'm wrong. <laughs> they definitely can. Um, I'm going to go for you, just because you're Eldritch. Bit easier to get some damage off on you. Um, and I think we go with Vapors here. We can The the stag could do some really big hits. I'd rather not get involved with those. Trell, you can activate your Repair straight away, I think. That's a big bit of damage on, on a Repair activation. Happy to see it. Buffing your damage. Buffing his accuracy and speed doesn't really mean much. The debuff chance is annoying, but there you go. Okay, so that mark essentially lets this uh, this stag, this deer, go in for his big hits. So we've got to be careful about that. Stress is getting very high here. That's okay, though. Attacking everyone, aren't you? Everyone gets a mark. And a dodge, apparently, too. It's okay. The vapors will help. Oh, really? You miss him and crit the body? Are you kidding? Not doing great here on these two. These two enemies are kind of dodging everything we have. Push you back a bit, though. That helps. And there's the bleed. Stag resisted it, though. The stag has pretty high bleed and bright resist, to be fair. And that's a nice dodge on that. That move can be very damaging, so I'm glad we missed out on that. There we go. Aaron getting a kill. Finishing off the enemy. Minus 20 damage at the minute as well. Lovely. Escape cloud, but that repose is getting you. It's hitting you back. And you're dead. Cool. And that is this mission complete. Great. Return to the hamlet. Feeling very good about that. That was great. Really good little adventure. Nice and tight collector kill. 35,000 gold, and everyone's level 4 as well. Awesome. We definitely need to remove some of these diseases. Uh, I think it was... Yeah, I think I think we got two diseases, didn't we? Oh, that's pretty good. Extra damage and resolve on next quest. So let's first of all unequip our trinkets, then quickly go into here and treat rabies and treat tinnitus. Get rid of both of those. Uh, check up on this, see if there's anything really, really good. That's pretty good. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Uh, we still got, got 81,000, wow. Um, 
That's really good. For 50,000, that's really, really good. I do want that very heavily. But I'm, I'm going to wait because we can build up so much more money here. And we don't have anyone to level up here. Uh, either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We have one more diary to finish this off. This is from Ronaldus, the Dragon Slayer. Again, by T.E.A. Another monster fell to my blade, and it won't be the last. It appears these wa early waves of foes we fought were nothing more than a curtain and a thinly veiled hiding the true evil of this place. Left to fester and grow silently in power, yet no matter how hard we fight, there seems to be no end in sight. Except, of course, the manor. You can see it all the way from the hamlet, a silhouette against the sun. Some days you could swear it was moving. The ancient monastery, making up those walls, twitching with the evil power that consumes it. If any man were to delve into that hell, it would be me. I know I'm ready, and when the others are, they may join me. So he is definitely going out into the darkest dungeon at some point. He is going out there, and he is going to help out a bunch. Either way, I did ho hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.